Hi everyone, in this video we are going deeper into more of the Hermetic Principles. Today is principle number two, it's the principle of correspondence. Yes, yes. Uh, I also want to delve into more of the correspondence. I know that the principle of correspondence mainly deals with as above, so below. Mm -hmm. But there are other correspondences that we can talk about also. As far as the as above, so below, uh, that gets misinterpreted all the time. Mm -hmm. as to what that actually means. It's pretty simple. What you change in three dimensions is going to affect two-dimensional reality. It's going to affect one-dimensional reality. What you affect in one-dimensional reality is going to change two-dimensional reality, and that's going to affect three-dimensional reality. The changes that are affected in one-dimensional reality are limited, though. The change doesn't really occur in a dramatic fashion. Mm -hmm. As it does between two and three. And that's one is closely is. tied with the all. Not only it's just, just one point and it's a measurement system. Right, exactly, yeah. It's, it's wonderful for clarification help mm -hmm. with anything that's happening. So if you do have issues in whatever you're trying to do mm -hmm. and you make changes and they're not working out the way that you want them to, going back to one dimensional reality can give you some clues as to. Which of the elements is off? Not working, okay. why it's not working, and did, have you missed your goal mm -hmm. as to what you wanted, the result you wanted in the first place? And it's easy to do that, especially when you get into uh, higher stuff where you're changing or trying to affect a, a large number of things at the same time. Um, just like with anything else, you get distracted. You, have, you accidentally focus on one thing when you should be focusing on another. Because mm -hmm. we've talked about that in regard to people who uh, pray for, I want to win the lotto, I want to win the lotto, I want to win the lotto. It's like, well, it, is that what you really want? Was it a lotto win that you wanted, or did you want a change of some sort that's going to come from a lotto win, as far as you're concerned? Um, most people are like, I want a lotto win, but the money Mm -hmm. and what that money can do for them. The problem is, is that when you have a huge amount of money, like what, where people really start going, oh, yes, please, I want to win a lot of, you know, 200 million, 500 million, a billion dollars, it changes everything when you hit that win. Most of the time, it goes public. Oh, yeah. So your privacy is completely gone. Then you start... Which only adds to the stress of it. Right. Then you become more concerned about the money mm -hmm. aspect and keeping it mm -hmm. than what you wanted it in to do in the first place. And it's not so much that you wanted a bunch of money, a bunch of paper, or a huge balance in your checking account. It's what you wanted to do with it. So you wanted a better life. Right, right. Yeah. And you think yeah, that this money is going to that, yeah. give you that. Mm -hmm. And the problem is if you don't like the life that you have, winning the lottery is going to change things to a point. But it's not going to make your life better if you don't like your life. Mm -hmm. Because generally, if you don't like your life, it's because you don't like you. And the money isn't going to do that. Mm -hmm. You're still not going to like yourself. And your insecurities are probably going to grow. Okay. Especially if it goes to, you know, I want to be able to travel. I want to... Uh, I want to go out and I want to socialize more. It's like, well, are people socializing with you because they like you? Or are they socializing with you because you're rich? Right, right. And they can get something from you. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of celebrities go through. Mm -hmm. And it compounds their insecurities, um, which is why in that field, there's so much drug abuse, alcoholism, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times, it, it makes you solitary. And you have to build up all of these walls around you because now everybody wants a part of what you have. Where before, nobody cared. Mm -hmm. But now, all of a sudden, people are coming out of the woodwork. Hey, I need money for this. I need this. I want this. I want this. Hey, how's it been? How you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. I don't know what's going on. Blah. It's like, well, the only reason you're talking to me now is because of this. Mm -hmm. And then... The people that generally will then surround you are what they call yes people. 
and they agree with everything that you say, and they build your ego up. Mm. They make you feel like... In a bad way. Yes. Yes. And they make you feel... Well, they take your ego to a level that it shouldn't be at. Mm. And they take it to a fake level. Right, right. And I just want to agree with you because, because like, right. since we talked about it before, you know, ego is not is not necessarily a bad thing. No, ego is not a bad thing. Without your ego, you would ne- you would never do anything. Mm. You would never move. Ego is is, is wonderful. It's, it's your essence. It's what makes you individually different than anybody else. Right, right. And anything else. So without your ego, you wouldn't know that we wouldn't know we were different from each other. Mm-hmm. Essentially, your ego and my ego. We also wouldn't get along as well as we do because it's your ego getting along with mine and mine getting along with yours. Right. That's yeah. essentially how that's working. Um, however, when you build an ego up, built uh, and it's built on false positives, mm-hmm. say, okay, and there's no constructive criticism because people are afraid that you're just you're going to cut them off, which is happens to a lot of rich people all the time Mm -hmm. Um, they're surrounded by all these people and they don't ever want to do anything to upset them right right right? because essentially again when your ego is built up and there's no real reason for it to be built up Mm -hmm. it doesn't feel good you become demanding you become overly critical of people around you and it's generally because you are magnifying your own insecurities and you're magnifying it to other people so it almost acts like opposition is doing astrology. Okay, yeah. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. You're seeing things in yourself that you don't like, but they're directed through someone else. And you act out on the other person instead of looking at yourself and going, what do I need to change? Mm-hmm. And when you get a windfall like that, if you ever do, there is concern that that's going to happen. But you have to, that's part of, that's part of what comes with it. Mm-hmm. Is knowing that hey, there's going to be some people around you that are going to be fake. Figure out who you can trust and who you can't. Trust your gut. Okay. Yeah. Understand your own limitations. Know that you have restrictions and limitations. That's another thing. Because yes, people don't ever tell you you have limitations or restrictions. It's the ones that do. Mm-hmm. You know, the ones that you should be like, okay, but not the ones that do it all the time. They, you can't be around people that are overly critical either. Because mm-hmm. a lot of that time, that's a power issue. They want control. And that's how they get the control of you. So those things, <laughs> that's what a, a, a financial windfall can do to you. Mm-hmm. It throws you into this position that you weren't ready for. You don't understand it. You don't know who you can trust. You may get an accountant. Can you trust the accountant? You have to have an accountant looking at that accountant, and the one looking at that accountant, and they're all looking at each other. Then, at the end of the day, you have to oversee all of it. Then, all your all all your 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 time is and focus is all about money, right? And maintaining it. Mm-hmm. And that's not what you wanted. You wanted a better life. And again, what is that for you? That goes to value. Right. Value does have to deal with wealth. Wealth is value. But value is a lot more than just wealth. Right. And again, astrologically, it's your second house. Okay. It's ruled and by it's value. Ruled by Taurus. Taurus and Venus, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's your that's your second house. And you have to understand your value, your value systems. What do you place value on? Do you place value on money, material objects, accumulating them? Some people do. Is it land? Do you want more land? Is it Family and time. Do you want more time with your family? What is it exactly that you place value on? Mm-hmm. Helping other people, building something that's going to last, a legacy. There's so many things that you can put value on. Is this where your character and integrity fall in also? Or? Well, integrity would. Yeah, and character because integrity is Libra, mm-hmm. which is Venus. Okay, yeah. Character is Taurus, mm-hmm. which is Venus. So yeah, both of those would factor right into it. Um, but that's what creates it. Mm-hmm. And it's figuring out what you value mm-hmm. and what it is that you're actually trying to get. That's the key to your happiness. Otherwise, you're going to take your values from other people. 
And what you see on the internet, what you see on the television, what you hear on the radio, what you hear from other people, what they're placing their value on, all of a sudden starts becoming what you're placing your value on, even though at the end of the day, that may not be anything that you're really interested in. You just think it's going to get you time with your family if that's what it is. Okay. okay. When in a lot of the time, it doesn't. It causes issues with your family. Okay. Yeah. I mean, how many times you have, you know, you read about or heard about, you know, entitlement things with rich kids. Mm -hmm. Kids that are brought up wealthy that have everything that they ever, that they ever wanted. Okay. I know people that love family, wanted a great um, financial freedom to go out, make all this money so that their kids could have what they didn't have and all that. They spent so much time at work, they haven't, they weren't around their family all that much. Mm -hmm. And they sat there like, well, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Unfortunately, because you, they weren't around them, they weren't able to build value systems into their children that they needed okay, from yeah. a parent. Yeah. So who does it? Well, the government, through schools and education systems, which aren't bad, but that's not what they're there for. Mm -hmm. And they they can't do it. They're not parents. They may try to be, but they're not. You need to do that. So you need to have that time too. So you can't take all of your time and put it into working in your right, career. Because right. you will alienate everybody you were trying to make a better life for. That's a, so again, it goes back to labor. It's the balance. Well, there's a it's the balance, but it's also not just the balance. It's the value. Mm -hmm. What is it that you value and what does that mean to you? Mm -hmm. And how do you get that? And how do you build those things? Is it more important that your children have access to anything they want financially? Or is it better for them to have enough to survive? Mm -hmm. and have some things that they like and you having the time to build their character around all of that is that what you want mm -hmm. that used to be the, the, the big role of the two families okay, the two, the two person family mother and the father and then again because we talked about you know true gender and then mental gender so the mental gender breakdown was the mother stayed at home and that's what she did she instilled the values into you. Dad went to work, brought him things so that you could live a comfortable life, okay. and then spent time with you. But the mother's role in that whole family structure was the family. Mm -hmm. She was she was the key. And it's not that fathers can't take on that role again if they want. Again, because that's the mental jumper. That's more the social aspects of what's going on. Right, you know, right. We've dictated this is what this is for, and this is what this person does. Okay, those can switch. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you know the father's going to be the better parent. Sometimes the mother's going to be, and I don't mean better, but I mean better, better suited for each which role. Right, right. You take out the role, and that's your job. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. Okay. But you would have well-rounded children at the end mm -hmm. because of it. For the most part, not all the time, but for the most part, that's what you—that that was the goal, mm -hmm. was to have well-rounded children that were ready for life mm -hmm. and to take on life and understood reality, which was where limitation and restriction used to come into. Because even in wealthy households, a lot of the times, just because you have the money doesn't mean your kids were had access to anything they wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, they earned it. They were right. never going without food. They were never going without clothing. Not like those things. But they didn't get everything they wanted just because they snapped their fingers or ah, threw a fit. It was more or less like, no, now you're not getting it. You know, and I think we've kind of lost that. Mm -hmm. you know, but getting back to the <laughs> to the as above, so below, in order to really understand the concept of that and the principle of correspondence, you have to understand what that even means for you. Mm -hmm. And everybody's going to have a completely different meaning to it than everybody else. And that's fine. That's the way it should be. Right, right. It doesn't mean that anybody else is better than you or, or not as good as you. What it means is 
you determine your value system. And who you're parenting with determines the value system of your children that you're going to instill in them when they're young. And as they grow up, those things are the things that build principle, which leads to character. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of what you're trying to do. Okay. And then they can determine their purpose, what they want to do and where they're going. Okay. It builds their structure, how they function, their structure, and their purpose comes out of it, okay. which is great. Because that's what you want, essentially. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, mm -hmm. what you're, that's what you're looking to do with a child. It's the best thing you're ever going to do. And as far as kids, anything that you're going to do, create. And a lot of people, very successful, okay, their children have problems. They, they hate their lives. Their lives suck. Mm -hmm. Even though they have everything that they ever wanted. When your kids are, there's problems with the children, nothing else matters at that point. And they don't care anymore, most of them anyway. I don't <coughs> mm -hmm. care, yeah. but for the most part, that seems to be the overall view of it. Anyway, getting back to it. You have to understand yourself first. Mm -hmm. What are your principles? Mm -hmm. okay. What are your values? Where is your character? What, what is your character? What's important to you? Mm -hmm. And with being what's important to you, what do you instill in them? And then you have to sit back and go, but them, they're not me. So you instill what you can into them and find out what's important to them, how their integrity is built. How their character is built. Helping to guide them, yeah. Yeah, and then guide them along the way. Mm -hmm. And help them when they hit rough patches and things like that. But again, the as above, so below. You have to understand what it is that you want. What is your what is the result that you're looking for? Mm -hmm. How do you want to get it? And again, there's a lot of easy ways what people think are easy ways, but there are, are always consequences mm -hmm. to be easy. Oh, yeah. That's that's what you have to determine. Mm -hmm. okay, so when you want to manifest anything in your life, how do you want to do it? Before you even think about correspondence. What do I want to change here? Well, what do you want to change here? Do you even know what you want to change? Mm -hmm. Do you know who you are? And again, that's when you have to start working on yourself. And that's why, like with what we're doing, you always start with you. Mm -hmm. The fundamentals is the first part of that. You begin to understand your mind by focusing techniques. But then when you do the uh, things you like about yourself, things you don't like about yourself, that's when you start to truly understand yourself. Why don't I like that? Because somebody else might not. That might not be a problem for them. Mm -hmm. It's for me. Then you start to understand those things in your in life. You know, okay, so this is who I am. So for who I am and what's important to me, how do I manifest a life around that? And that's when you start to factor in the result. And the result isn't being rich. Mm -hmm. The result is the life you want. And what is that? What is that life that you want? <clears throat> Once you understand that, you backtrack. Okay, here's where I am. Here's what I want. Then you have to create the path or find the path to get you there. Then you can start thinking about how do I manifest this? What are the stages I need to go through? Okay, which for you is going to be Second nature because of all that Capricorn energy. Right? <laughs> that's how that's how that's going to work. And then you and then you start putting the puzzle together essentially. Right, right. Of how to how to play it out. Okay. Then you have your your main goal. Then you come back and you go, well, in order to get there, what do I have to do to get there? In order to get there, what had to come before that? 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 In order to get here. Okay, where do I have to go from now? Mm -hmm. so what's the goal I need to build? And then what's the next goal I need to hit? And the next goal I need to hit? And the next goal I need to hit? 
And then how do I not get stuck focusing just on the goals to get where I want to go and miss the journey? Right, right. That's the other part too, man. Yeah. yeah. You're so caught up in trying to get there mm. that you have no fun on the way. You forget to say, stop and take a look around. Yeah. Yep. And you're like, oh, look, I built this great life, blah, 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 and yeah, you don't know who your kids are. Right. You know, what's your kid's favorite color? I have no idea. Best friend's name? No clue. Mm. Okay. And where did you, you know, where did you and your, your significant other go like this? And move into separate paths and become strangers. Because that happens too. Because you get caught up in where you're going and forgotten about where you are. You know, it's great to know where you want to go, but you also have to know where you're at so that you can get there. And the goal may end up changing. Right, right. Along the way. And that's not a bad thing either. No, I don't absolutely not. But you a have to understand time, that. That will happen a lot of times because what you want or what you think you want. Will change. Yes. Yes. It as will. you go along. Yes, it will. And that's one of the key ingredients that we're that you need to have before you start thinking about correspondence. Mm -hmm. okay. As above, so below. Okay. And then it's like, okay, so I got the path. I know the goal. Okay. How does the principle of correspondence help? Mm -hmm. You go from three-dimensional reality, two-dimensional reality, one-dimensional reality. How? Huh. Number one. <laughs> and what does that even mean? Okay. Again, it's all about cycles and measurement. So, if you want to change something in three dimensions, first, you need to hit one-dimensional reality and figure out what exactly your focus needs to be on in the first place. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do? Are you trying? What are you trying to create? Motion, movement, velocity, density, firmness. Uh, well, probably a little bit of all that kind of stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. And, and that's going to be the first light bulb that goes off. Mm -hmm. All of these things. Mm -hmm. You can't just change one. You got to change them all. Okay. And then, what's your focal point in the beginning? Okay. What is it that you need to do? Again, first step. What's the first thing you have to change? Because you don't want to go to your big result and go, okay, we're going to, that's what we're doing. Huh? And then again, it's like a lottery winner or something. And all of this other stuff comes with it. Mm -hmm. And you go, oh, I didn't want that. Right, right. Yeah. I didn't want that at all. And I'm not even ready for it. Mm -hmm. you know, how do I even deal with this? You go back and you go, okay. Got a goal. And it's been, for the most part, it's going to change from Earth, Taurus, Matthew Wells. Okay. To something else. What's the something else? Well, first of all, you need to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. Right? What does that mean? Do you need to be emotionally ready first? Do you need to be intellectually ready first? Do you need to be expressive in your expression? Who you are first. Okay. Okay. What do you need to change? Do you need to change how you function? Do you need to be motivated? Mm -hmm. Right? Do you need to sit down and figure out what's happening? What's going on? How you need to do it? On the sermon, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or do you need to become sensible about things? Okay. You need to feel mm -hmm. first. Okay. I can't answer. <laughs> I know. Right, 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 I know everybody right. out there might be expecting me to give you an answer. I can't answer that. Right. This is this is your goal. Okay. The 
those are the first questions you need to ask yourself. Basic roadmap, yeah. 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 What needs to change? And generally, it's going to be you mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Not the goal, not anything in the outside world, not other people, not your job, not, nothing of that nature. It's you internally. What needs to change in you to make this happen? To make you ready for it when you get there? Okay. Because that's the important question. So that, that's, that's kind of uh, a lot of the um, self-development stuff. Kind of well, self-development, yes. It's elemental, but it's elemental for you. This right. is bitter now. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to work inward mm -hmm. first before you can work outward. It's like you have to divide before you can multiply. Right, right. Okay. So again, you have to look within yourself and say, what do I need to do? Where do I need to be in order for me to be able to hit this goal? Mm -hmm. And where am I at now? And you have to be realistic with where you're at now. Okay. 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 Well, I want to write a. I yeah. want to create an app. It's going to be the best. Well, do you know how to create an app? Do you know how to write code? No. Right. Well, maybe that ought to be the first thing you focus on. <laughs> you have the goal. Maybe the first thing you need to focus on is how to do it in the first place. Because right. it's like the first thing. I want to win the lottery. Well, you have to buy a ticket. Because <laughs> if you don't buy a ticket, you'll never win the lottery. It's just, that's not going to happen. Right, right. And that's the same thing, mm -hmm. only on a whole different level. You have to be ready for it. So, you have to prep yourself. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what's that going to be? Well, Saturn energy is preparedness. How do you prep yourself? Okay. First thing you have to look at, what are my limitations? What's what's restricting me from doing it now? Limitations, discipline, yeah. yeah. What's restricting me? What? Mm -hmm. Why don't I have it now? Okay, this is why you don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is why I don't. What do I need to do to alter things in my life and in me to start moving me forward to this goal? That's when it's going to start hitting. And that's when you're going to go, okay, one dimensional reality because what do I need to do? Well, you need to do this, 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 and there's a hundred thousand things that you need to do to reach your goal. And you're like, oh, this is all overwhelming. I'll never be able to do it. Simplify. Okay, you need so all the outside influences are gone. You know, you need to change something in here. Mm -hmm. What do you need to change in here? What is it? That's when you go to the uh, your elements in yourself. What do I need to change? Am I not motivated? <coughs> You're like, well, no, no, I've got the motivation to do this. Right. Why? Yeah. So it's not fire. It's not air. We, mm -hmm. we don't need new initiate expression. We, we've got that. We're motivated. Okay. What don't I have? Knowledge. Okay. Don't have the knowledge. Okay. Why don't I have the knowledge? It's something far as I want to do. Why don't I have the knowledge? And then you look at stuff. You don't feel like integrity, though. What do you mean integrity though? Well, integrity means, means a lot of things, mm -hmm. right? But when you look at integrity in this form, integrity is, okay, you have to be able not just to motivate and be motivated to do it, okay? Mentally, you have to be prepared to do it, okay? Integrity is, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it, and I'm not going to quit. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit. Your integrity is going to pop in. Okay. Then it's like, okay. Well, that's great. You know, but how do I how do I muster integrity? And like, well, there may be principles involved that you don't have, or that you need to brush up on, mm -hmm. or you have to invite into yourself okay, and learn. Okay, what would those be? Capricorn will help you with that. Okay. And it will give you a process to follow. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's like, okay, I don't function correctly for this goal. And again, function is Capricorn. So right, right. Okay. I need to change how I function. Good. We've got that. Okay. How do I change how I function? I have to change how I feel about it. <laughs> Why aren't you there? Why, how come you can't go? <laughs> I don't like school. <laughs> okay, well, hmm, that's an issue. 
Okay. What is the heck you believe? That's sensibility. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe your goal's wrong. Okay. You got this big goal that you want to do. You want to write an app for something. Is that really what you want to do, though? <laughs> Or is that your ego? Mm-hmm. Saying, I just want to be able to, I just want to create this app. Do you really want to create an app? Or is there something else you need to do? Mm-hmm. Okay. And sensibility, of course, is going to be cancer. It's going to be water. Okay. And it's a feel. Is this the right thing for me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe it is. Then you're like, no, I still want this goal. Okay. Then we have to change how our sensibility. Okay. And you have to say, okay, then. Emotionally, I have to prepare myself to push forward with this. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's going to be hard. And it's re- going to require discipline. Okay. And all of this will help build that integrity. Right. right. In this direction mm-hmm. for this. You know, it doesn't mean that you don't have integrity. It's just it's not right for this particular thing. You have to change it. So let's do that. Let's do this. Yeah, you're making a shift. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then proceed from there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you're in one. That's one dimension. But thus far, you know, you're working one dimensionally with things. Okay. So, yeah, motion. Let's go back to one dimensional reality. Okay. Do I need momentum and direction? Do I have that? Do I need velocity and precision? Hmm, precision. Precision, precision. Doesn't mean it doesn't mean accuracy, but doesn't mean that this is going to be correct, but it needs to be precise. Mm-hmm. Okay. So precise means if you need if you want to code something, you have to learn how to do code. If right. you want to write an app, you have to learn how to do this. Okay. Precision. Mm-hmm. Okay. Velocity. Right now, you really don't need the velocity. You can speed up or slow down at this point because you're not anywhere near it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, then we'll go into, do you, you know, it's, we go into water, mass, and volume, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, well, what does that have to do with any of this? Right. Okay. Real since without overstepping its bounds. Okay. Okay. Are you equipped to do this without overstepping your bounds? Mm-hmm. And the abject failing at what you're trying to do. That's where density comes in. Okay. Your mass and volume. It doesn't mean your mass and your volume. <laughs> right, right. It means do you have the capacity to even be able to do this? Right. Okay. On an emotional level, can you do this? Okay. Then you strength and stamina. What do I need to work on? Do I have the strength, character, or to go through with it, my strength to push myself to do it, and how long can I last mm-hmm. doing it? Those are the first steps. That's changing things one dimensional to affect two or three dimensional reality, essentially your three dimensional reality. Then you can move into two dimensional reality once you've figured that out. And that's the process of okay, now I have the power cycles. Okay. Okay. Now we have the power cycle. <coughs> so, now what do I want to do? Mm-hmm. How do I want to figure this one? <laughs> right? Okay. And it's like, well, hot, dry, dry, cold, cold, moist, moist, hot. What does that have to do with any of what we're doing? It's like, well, those are the power cycles, but what do those actually mean as far as elements are concerned? Okay. It's like going from spring, summer, fall, and winter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where are you at? Where do you need to be at? Okay. Most people are going to want to be in spring. I want to be in spring. I want to start this thing. I want to get it going. I want to go moist, hot, hot, dry. Put all this energy on. It's like, okay. Do you have the potential yet to do that? Hmm. Well, maybe not. Because again, if I want to write an app, I have to be able to code. So I can't really start writing or putting together an application if I don't know how to write the code for it. Right, right. Okay. Is the potential there? Like, okay, so that would be water, so that would be where winter would come. <laughs> We're sitting in it. Okay. However, there's more potential than that. 
Are you grounded in reality? With this? Okay. Have you gathered all your stuff? Are you talking Paul now? Mm -hmm. okay. Are you letting go of all of the junk that you have? Are you letting it die off? Because that's what we have to do now. Mm -hmm. And that's fall. Okay. You have to let it dry up. Okay. You can't move into cold because cold is moving you into water. And the dryness is killing off everything that's stopping you, essentially. It's getting your bearings, grounding yourself, all earth, mm -hmm. which is fall. Okay. And you're going to move into the cold. The cold is your potential. Because that's what water is. Water is your potential. It's what like your soul. What do you have there? Do you have the potential to do this? Okay. And that's where you need next your first cycle change. Okay. Rinsing all these all this crap behind me that's been stopping me. Now I'm moving into the potential. Do I have the potential to do this? And you have to be realistic with yourself. Because you may not have that for this goal and you may have to change your goal. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean I can't tell you that. Only you'll know. Okay. Like, okay, now I need to build this potential up. So there's going to be a time period where <clears throat> you're not doing anything really to get you to your goal except preparing for it. Right. Okay. And you started preparing in Earth. Mm -hmm. Right. And now you have to build up the potential to be able to go. So you have to learn it. Right. You have to right. learn how to do it. Okay. Yeah. And that's building the potential. Mm -hmm. To be able to launch and do whatever it is that you want to do. And it doesn't even matter what the app's going to be. You just have to learn how to, how to create an app. Mm -hmm. That's the potential. Do you have, you know, you have to build potential to be able to do it in the first place. Launch anything. Okay. You do that. Then you hit spring. And spring becomes, okay, I got to start choosing stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. I have to start choosing stuff. So we're going to move into spring. Okay. And that's going to move you into the, again, the hot dry. Okay. Because you went from, or not the hot dry, but the moist hot. Okay. So you went from cold, which is total potential. Okay. And now you need movement, momentum. You've got to create a little heat mm -hmm. okay. to get you moving now, to get that potential moving. And that's what spring's going to do for you. It's going to flood you in there. That's where you're going to get your precision and your velocity. Your precision. Is okay. I know how to code now. Where am I gonna? What am I coding? Mm -hmm. What app am I writing? What What am I doing with it? Now what? We're gonna go into that. You're gonna move into that. Okay, precision. Okay. 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 And you're gonna get a little velocity going. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course, because spring, this is where three is coming into play. Starts with Aries. Aries is gonna give you the motivation to do it. It's gonna give you the heat. Mm -hmm. That's where the heat's coming in. Okay. And you're like, yeah, but that's fire. It is fire. But it's also the beginning of spring. So in two-dimensional reality, Aries is a part of air. Okay. Spring is air in two dimensions. So we have overlap. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Okay. Right. And what's next? Structure. Because structure is what? <coughs> it's the building aspect of spring. Because it's Taurus. Mm -hmm. And then Gemini is going to do what? It's going to give you the inspiration. Take to completely cycle. moving forward. Yeah. Okay. And where's that? What's that going to do for you? That's going to push you into summer, mm -hmm. fire. Okay. And then cancer. And it's like, okay, oh, what? Well, we just went to water? Yeah, but we're moving into fire. The beginning of fire for summer and that in, in the summertime is cancer, which is water energy. Okay. And it's feeling, is this the right thing to do? Mm -hmm. We're getting to sensibility again. Is it sensible mm -hmm. to do this? It's like, okay, then we're going to move into where? We're going to move into Leo. We're going to, and Leo, what are we going to do with Leo? We're going to demonstrate and animate, baby. Yeah. Okay. That's that. Creative Put expression. Yeah. So now we're going to start doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time to create the, the darn act, whatever that's going to be. Okay. And that's the summer of this cycle. Okay. And that summer is going to end in Virgo. Okay. 
What's Virgo going to do? What's the purpose of the freaking thing? Right, right. What does it do? Yeah, yeah. Apps are great, but what does your app do? Okay. You're also going to be able to analyze it, work out the bugs, do the research. That's the ending of that cycle. Mm -hmm. You're did we create an expression? You're expressing it. You're like, yes, look at this code. And then Virgo comes in and he goes, yeah, this is great code. What are we doing with it? How is it going to work? Mm -hmm. okay. and, and, and it needs to work correctly. And there's Virgo. Hello. Right, right. So Virgo's going to come in and get detailed. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to close out that cycle. Okay. So you've worked out that particular cycle for that. But in doing that, you went from one dimensional reality into two dimensional reality that was that affected three dimensional reality. Mm -hmm. And you were utilizing all aspects of that at the same time. Okay? So when you made a change in the one dimensional reality, it made a change in the two dimensional reality, which made a change in the three dimensional reality. But when you were doing the cycle of the two dimensional reality, what was happening in three? You had to use three in order to go from one aspect to the next aspect of the cycle in two-dimensional reality. Okay. 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 Then you get done and you're like, something went wrong. It's not working. I like, oh, made all these changes. Which one is it? Go back to one. Is it precise? Is it moving too? Did it move too quick? Did we miss something? Mm -hmm. okay. Do we have a direction? Do we have enough oomph behind it? Mm -hmm. okay. Is the app weak or strong? Okay. Does it last? Or is it something that people will like for two months and then say, I don't want this anymore? Right, right. Does it have stamina? Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, go back to density. Is it sensible? Is it sensible? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it have the volume and the mass to even exist? Is it overstepping its own bounds of what the app's supposed to do? Did we put too much into it? We're not putting enough into it. Okay. You go back to that, you can figure out which element you're having issue with. So that will determine which part of the cycle. And we use, you know, we use spring, you know, we use the seasons, but the seasons right, right, are the best, right. one of the best cycles to go through because the seasons actually do something. Right, right. You look at the seasons, not as just seasons, but how all your cycles work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where in that did we? Mess. Okay. Was it in? Do we, was was it the motivation? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Do we present it correctly? Okay. Was it the demonstration of what we were motivating and presenting? Was it animating it where we had the mistake? No. Okay. Was its purpose on? There you go. Okay. Yeah. What about its yeah. presence? Everything has a presence. What about the presence? Mm -hmm. okay. Does it have a weak presence? Or does it have a strong presence? Okay. Is, it, is the presence scary? <coughs> is it inviting? Okay. Is that part of it? If not, you continue to work through it. Where was it? Right, right. Okay. Where did we lose it? What happened? Mm -hmm. Is there a problem with the sermon? Is there a problem with delineation? Okay. Is there a problem with resonance? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it integral? Where did we? Wh wh what's the problem? And you can start picking it apart like mm -hmm. a puzzle piece, and going, "This is the problem." And then you go, "No, all that's there." And you go, "Okay." Now we have to look at the interaction between them all. Okay. So now we have to look at aspect kind of energy. Okay. How was this working with this and this working with this? How was it focused? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you would have had to have built that into it too, but I didn't want to get into all that. So what planets were we using to focus all of these energies? And, uh, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how are they interacting with each other mm -hmm. and the energies around that? And did we cause challenges for ourselves that we didn't know we were going to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And how bad are they? And uh, is it something that we're able to break out of? And if so, how? What else do we have to factor in now? Mm -hmm. okay. 
is what is the <clears throat> is what we created too easy to the point where it's just everybody's gonna lose interest. Right, right. Okay. What was your app? Was it a game? Is the game too easy? Yeah. That's the game's too easy, nobody wants to play. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to put some challenges into it. On the other hand, if it's too hard, no one's gonna play either. Right. Yeah. If you can't ever get through it, no one's gonna want to play. Right, right. So what do you need to factor in? Square aspect energy. If you have to break through in order to get to the next level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some trying so it's a little easier. You're not pulling your hair out and putting your foot through the television every 10 minutes <laughs> as you're playing, as people are playing this game. Right, right. Those are the things you need to work out. Mm -hmm. But you'll be able to start picking them apart mm -hmm. as you're doing those things. Okay. Where are the energies playing out? Houses, right? Mm -hmm. So what house did we factor all this stuff in? This part's here, this part's here, this part's here, this part's here, this part's here. Okay. Is it a where issue? Is it a what issue? Is it a how issue? Mm -hmm. All factors that you have to deal with. Okay. So when you're doing these things, as you're building them, as you're doing them, you know, as a low syllable low correspondence, those are things you're going to understand. You're going to have to understand mm -hmm. what happened. Okay. Why is this working? Why is this not working? Okay. Where did it go wrong? What do we need to factor back in? Is it good? Because you make them up and go, it worked. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Awesome. We build everything in, everything worked out great, and everything is wonderful. That generally doesn't happen all the time, mm -hmm. but the better you get at it, the more you do it, the better your results are going to be in the, in the beginning. Okay? Right. You don't have to go back and rework everything. Well, I think one of the it's other things. You know, Engineering anything. One one of the other <laughs> problems that people run into is they don't you know, take time into consideration. Right. For these things. No, they don't. They don't take time into consideration. And two dimensionally, time is irrelevant. But three dimensionally, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's all about it. And it's all cyclical, too. How do your cycles work? Okay. Did you forget to pack your something in? Right, right. You know, like when you're going to launch it, how it's going to launch, and by the time you're done writing your app, or is technology going to get to a point where your app is irrelevant? Mm -hmm. Will it work? Ooh, it's a great app, it's a great game. Nobody can play it. Right. Because it doesn't work on any systems anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it does. But that's what you have to look at. Okay. And that's what you need to do. You know, but that's. The principle of correspondence factors all of that into it. Mm -hmm. It's not just as above, so below that everybody talks about. Right, no, no, no. Because <laughs> people that, make that way too simple. Well, that's that, I was going to say, that's a ma uh, big uh, um, misinterpretation, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. um, that I have across my own life with people that I've interacted with. Right. Um, where essentially it's like, oh, well, you know, go with prayer, for example. Right. You know, where Jesus is writing when it's, uh, you know, your kingdom come, your will be done right. on earth as it is in heaven. Right. So it's like, okay, well, if God can do it and it'll be the same here, whatever, and right. no one really thinks about it. Well, right, there's a lot you have to do. Mm -hmm. Again, same thing with prayer. As you were saying with that, same right, thing. Right, right. I want to win the lot, I train the win the is that really what you want? Right, right. Probably didn't happen because that's not what you really wanted. <laughs> or you weren't ready for it. Yeah. You're not ready for it. It's not what you wanted. It's not going to give you the results you like. Right, right. That's why you didn't get it. It's not, this isn't going to be what you think it's going to be. This is probably going to be the opposite of what you wanted. Right, right. Because you're not ready for it. And it's going to suck. Mm -hmm. And it's going to bring out all the parts of you you don't like. Right. And that's the part when you talk about you have to start with yourself that you have to fix first mm -hmm. and then move out from there. Because if you don't do that, it's all going to crumble. It's all going to crumble around you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's the other thing with, you know, you're talking manifestation. Right. Um, and how to run these.
cycles to do that. That's a lot of what people aren't ready for. Um, one, not knowing what they really want. Well, the thing is about manifestation is that everything is manifestation. Mm -hmm. Every, everything is manifest at some level. Mm -hmm. You know, most people think manifestation is um, creating something that's going to do this, just this. And it's like, you manifest things every day. Oh, yeah. If you stay up late and hang out at the bar till two and close the bar down and have to work at six o'clock in the morning, you manifested a horrible day. Oh, yeah. Yourself. Oh, yeah. For the most part, you're not going to feel good, you're not, but you manifested that. Well, that's, that's something that a lot of people don't think about is right. their life right now is manifest from choices and uh, decisions that they've made in the past. Right, right. However, when you get into the fall aspect that we were talking about, mm -hmm. or the autumn, it's called autumn, this fall can trip <laughs> yeah. people up. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. autumn aspect, and you're, okay, that's cutting all of that mm -hmm. away. You can learn from the past. You can't live in it. Right. A lot of people live in their past. Yeah. Absolutely. You have to stop living in your past. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter anymore. Other than a learning experience for you. Mm -hmm. That's what you can take from it. You take it as a learning experience. Okay. Now I'm saying that as if it's simple. And it's not because oh, no. I'm no, not completely there myself. Psychologically, However, it is very complex. You know, yeah. Psychologically, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Yeah, it's, it's you on every level. It's extremely complex. However, yeah. that's what you're doing when you're getting ready for it. Mm -hmm. You can't let all of it go, but what you can do is you can let go of the aspects that are holding you back. Right, right. Okay. And you're not forgetting it all, or else you're gonna you're you're gonna make the same mistakes again. Mm -hmm. You're gonna remember it, you're gonna try to learn from it and do things a little differently to get a different result. Mm -hmm. Because we all know if you do the same thing over and over and over again, you're going to have the same result. Right, right. You have to alter things mm -hmm. to make a better result for yourself. That's what you need to do when, you, when, when you're talking about these cycles. That's why starting in fall is good. Mm -hmm. Because you start from a clean slate and you build up the potential to, for, to then project out in the spring and the summer of the cycle that you're in. Most people skip that part. And they go right to the spring, and there's nothing. There's nothing to do. Right, right. Because you don't know what you're supposed to do. You have no clue. Are you? Yeah. Well, that's because you're going to build up any potential to learn. Take the time to, yeah. you know, in the fall or winter, even to build up the potential. And, right, right. Yeah. For years, every, well, I'll, I'll, for my, uh, me, for example, I have people that are always off. When are you going to write your book? 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 Okay. And it's like, well, I don't just want to write the book. Mm -hmm. I'm in the potential phase. I've done this. I've done that autumn. Okay. I'm in the potential phase. And the book's coming. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. However, it took all this time to <coughs> get to the point where the book's were. Mm -hmm. Now the book is here. And it's ready. Or it's almost ready to completely launch. Right. But. I wasn't ready for it to launch, mm -hmm. number one. I didn't have all of the ingredients to put it together. Right, right. Okay. So it didn't just go when it did it and have a bunch of holes in it and people mm -hmm. like, it doesn't make any sense in that. How funny of that. Right. That needed to come together. Mm -hmm. There. Did it take time? Yes. Did I put the time into it? Yes. Okay. Was it a big pain at times? Yes. <laughs> right, right. Because I was one of the ones saying the same thing to myself. What, mm -hmm. what, what, what? Come on, man. What are you doing? Why aren't you doing this stuff? Right. When it's, yes. I needed to take the time to build the potential up for this mm -hmm. thing to launch correctly. Mm -hmm. And now it's the launching of it. Could I have been a successful Launching it 10, 15 years ago, <coughs> a book, mm -hmm. probably. Would it have been the book that, that, that I wanted, the, the result I wanted? No. Right. I learned a lot in that 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. That completely changed the book. I'm, I, I would have been writing. 
this book is going to be better for the people reading. Mm -hmm. And that's the point. So my that's that was my resolve. Mm -hmm. I want this to be the book that these people need and want right, right. Okay, to move forward. Mm -hmm. Not the book I want to sell. Right. Okay, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. okay, and that gets frustrating. Because that relies heavily on change. I, I had to change myself. Mm -hmm. And then not caring that other people were disappointed because I didn't have any book out there that I should have had. Right, right. Okay. But it wasn't at the time. You know, I had my recipe. Okay. And I had my puzzle or whatever you want to call it. I needed to put the pieces together and get the pieces right. Mm -hmm. Pieces are right. It's together. It's ready to go. And the world has also changed. Yeah. And the book I would have written 10 years ago would not fit into the world now mm -hmm. at all. But well, a lot of other things have shifted too. I mean, it's our partnership and yeah, yeah. yeah. things like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Things needed to come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And everybody had to be ready. Right. Okay. I had to be ready. You had to be ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, three, three years ago, I would not have been ready for any of this. Right. A year ago, you weren't ready for this. <laughs> right. And right. I talked about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, where you would have been like, poof, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't want to. Don't want to. <laughs> you know, like, okay. Right. You know, but again, things have to be ready mm -hmm. for the goal. And what is the goal? Most people have no idea what their, what their true goal is. Mm -hmm. Build it. But prepare yourself. Before you build anything, mm -hmm. and be prepared for what that building is going to do, oh, yeah. Yeah. what that creation is going to mean, and what you're going to do when it's done. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that get stuck there too. Did it? Now what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. People are reading the book. Great. Awesome. Did now you what? have plans for another book? Nope, not really. <laughs> Everybody, all these people now, now want you to write another book. Okay. Yeah. But you don't have 15 years to do it. <laughs> they want to book like next year. Okay. Right, right, right. Right? So, again, you have to start looking at the next cycle mm -hmm. and the next cycle and the next cycle and where your your goals are going to be. And then don't worry about the naysayers. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about the blowback you're going to get. Right. Just go right. on with it. Mm -hmm. And then again, what was your true goal? What is my true goal? It's not to be rich. Mm -hmm. It's not to be extremely wealthy from all this and powerful. And blah. It's not that. Right. It's to help people. To help people. And to help people and get their potential. Mm -hmm. Understand it and express it and go and go. Okay. So if, the, if I get blowback, that, oh my gosh, from people that go, oh, no. We're going to come out and destroy you financially because we don't like the book you wrote. And we have the power and the money to do that. I'm going to go, I don't care. That's not why I wrote the book. <laughs> I can still have a you know, nine to five job. I don't care. Right, right. And these people can still do what they're doing. And that's not the factor because that's not what I did. Mm -hmm. okay. If I did it for that, that would be an issue. I didn't do it for that. So it's not an issue. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. When looking to the future, okay, will I get blowback from this? Probably. There's a lot of stuff in there. You know, and what we're what we're about to do and what we're about to launch. Oh yeah. You know, oh, so yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, I'm following a specific recipe. Mm -hmm. And that recipe hopefully is gonna give me my goal. Mm -hmm. Put enough time and energy into creating it that it looks as though that's what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. And I have put things in place to try to help mm -hmm. with the naysaying and the blowback that might happen and occur. And getting myself again prepared. Right, right. You know. So for me it's not the money and the power that comes out of it. It's the ability to help people. Right. 
Okay. Understand the potential. Express it. Grow with it. See where they see where, where they go. See where they go. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the part that you know is with me. Because some some people are like, well, why would you even share this information with anybody? When you could have it all. What's the point of that? Exactly. Ego. <laughs> Again. Right. And I want to see where uh, other people can take that. Yeah. Here's where I could take it. Where do you, where do you guys can do it? Because I'm that's I'm going to. Well, that's it. that's exactly that, that, that's exactly. It. I mean, that's the point where I'm coming from now too. Because yeah, you facilitate other people. You facilitate this for other people. Ultimately, we are only here for a limited time. Yeah. Well, it's not just a limited time either, but it's it's watching somebody else grow mm -hmm. and what they can do. Not what I think they should do. What what are they going to do? With it? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? With it? What's Chris going to do? With it? What's anybody going to do? With it? Right, that's right. the that's the part that's exciting for me. I want to see that. <laughs> right. Where is this going to go? Where is everybody going to take this? Mm -hmm. And where can I help facilitate that? And how can I help facilitate that? And how can I not help facilitate that? Some people aren't going to be a part of that, what I'm doing. <laughs> They're going to do their own thing. That's fine. Right. right. So what are they going to do? Where are they going to take it? That's the, I mean that's the that's where I get that's the ambition I have. Mm -hmm. Is being a part of the beginning of it, right? Right. And seeing where it goes and grows, you know. But again, back to the correspondence issue. <laughs> As above, so below. That's how it works. Okay. Yeah. That's the true meaning of it. Mm -hmm. And I think most people miss that, right? right. When they just read things like the Kedalian and the Hermeticum Corpus and things of that nature, I think they miss that aspect. Okay. Yeah. That's the excitement mm -hmm. that you need is the change in yourself. Right. Yeah. And where that's going to take you and where you can mold that. Mm -hmm. okay. You can see your goals and start hitting them and watch them change. My goals have changed dramatically in the last 25 years. Just watch it go and where it goes, how it grows. Mm -hmm. And then you sit back and go, like, wow, I never even, this, is part, this part I never even factored in here. This is so cool. <laughs> right, right. This is awesome. Wow, how wonderful. Yeah. And being ready for it, being prepared. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think that's enough on the correspondence. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, we do look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.